Hey, look, y'all. This ain't gonna be a long video. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, this is gonna be like more of a sit down and talk video. You feel me? I'm actually extremely happy. You feel me? Uh, today, I hit. 50,000 subscribers after being at like 49 for a very long time. Now, the YouTube thing hasn't been going exactly how I planned it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I've been jumping around from content to content. But for the people that have been supporting me with whatever the fuck I post, I love y'all for, for, for a fact. You feel me? While I'm experimenting with my content. And maybe I'm just one of them guys that can, you feel me, that's going to be able to uh, do anything I want. But... You feel me? I really thank y'all for sticking with me. You feel what I'm saying? Through this, like, time period. Uh, like, it's not, it really has not been easy, like, like, from, like, bro. This is just transparent. This is a transparency moment. Like, I've been, like, Ubering, like, just doing, just doing hella shit, you feel me? So I could, you feel me, chase this dream. At a certain point, it's going to get to, a point where I'm going to have to be, like, realistic with myself because, like, I'm not about to just, you feel me, be broke. Which I'm not, but, like, you feel me? I ain't about to keep doing the shit that I'm doing now, but, you feel me? I, I really want to give it one one last push, you feel me? And so far, I've been posting, what's today? So far, today is the, today is the 25th. So, so far, so far, I've been posting 30 days every day straight. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, my my ultimate goal is to get to 100 days. You feel me? You feel me? And, like, me doing this is not, like, to reach a certain goal. Like, I don't have a certain goal in mind that I want to reach. It's really for myself to be consistent you feel what i'm saying and I'm, I'm about to be going to mexico soon so i might have some content dropping when i go there uh or i might pre-record videos and then just drop them but regardless bro i'm not missing the day i don't give a fuck if i gotta pull my phone out you feel me and record like i'm really not missing the day so that's one thing y'all got for y'all got for it to looking to me you feel me? Every single day, there's going to be a video from me. I don't give a fuck what time it is. So make sure you put your post notifications on. You feel what I'm saying? And make sure you feel me, you tapped in. Because it's no telling what the fuck I'm going to drop. One day, I might be playing Elden Ring. One day, I might be playing GTA RP. One day, I might be playing Madden. One day, I might be fucking your bitch. You never know. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, yeah, I, I really, but I honestly, really, I made this video just to thank y'all. You feel what I'm saying? Like, 50K is fucking crazy. And my views ain't been like crazy now. You feel me? It shit, shit just been gradually going up. Now, I'm going to give you a backstory of the channel now. I started the channel at the beginning of last year. You feel me? I was playing football at Morgan. I really didn't know what I was going to do. This was my last year. You feel me? And YouTube has always been a thing that I wanted to do since I was young. Like You feel what I'm saying? Like Before fucking football. Football was like a thing. I, mind you, I love football, and I love football to the fullest. Football and got me places and, and put me in front of people that I would never thought I'd be able to fucking be, in it, be near. You feel what I'm saying? But, like, I always had a passion for content. I don't even fucking know why, though. That's the crazy part. You feel what I'm saying? But I've been watching YouTube since I was young. I really wanted to do it, so I started in high school. Boom. Got through high school. I wanted to keep going and doing it in college. Now... This where kind of shit got fucked up. Like, you feel what I'm saying? And mind you, this is not going to be like an edited video. This is really just me venting and just giving y'all a backstory on how far I actually came with this YouTube shit. You feel what I'm saying? So this is my first channel. I was uploading high school reactions. Like, mind you, my favorite YouTubers was fucking Soluminati, Oprah Side. Like, before everybody turned to Oprah Side, bro, I was like a real, like, Oprah Side, I was watching him every single day, bro. Pretty Boy Fredo, like, you feel me, DDG, everybody that's beefing now, like, I, like, I'm not one of them guys that I'm picking aside, I really, like, every single one of them done did something for me in my life, you feel me, at one point in time, you feel me, destroying, like, he don't even fucking know, like, it is crazy that I can 
fucking talk to him sometimes, bro. Like, that shit is, that shit's crazy to me. It's crazy that I was even in a video because I was watching a man when he was at college. Like, I, I feel like I was a part of his journey, too. So, it's like, that shit is crazy. Life becoming a full circle like that, you feel me? Um, So, boom, I'm watching all these YouTubers. I'm like, bro, I can do that shit. So, in high school, I start doing it, making little videos, you feel me? Just doing, just doing shit that I want to do, being bamboozle the bean boozle challenges just doing shit that i see on youtube you feel me because i just love making content right so i commit to a high i commit to a college you feel me i commit to towson university and when i get there they basically say you can't fucking you feel me you can't do your youtube they was all like mind you when i was getting recruited by them they was all for it like they were supporting it you feel what i'm saying said that I, they love my message they love what i was doing it's not negative you feel me so they support it when I got there, it was basically like, oh, you making a look like, mind you, I was only making about like 10 fucking dollars off the shit, you feel me? So, it's like, oh, you're monetizing all the shit, you can't do it. So, I'm like, damn. And it, it wasn't like a destroying thing, like, destroying was making a bag. So, it was like, they was on the tip with him, like, you choose that or this, you feel me? You pick, and you feel me, he ended up choosing that. But in my situation, they just basically like, nigga, just get rid of the channel, like, bro, like, you feel what I'm saying? So, boom. That shit was probably the, like, the thing that sent me into depression because right after that, I got injured. So, I had no football and no fucking YouTube. I was fucking lost and shit, you feel me? All that. Then, fast forward, I get into the camera shit. I start learning how to use a camera. Start learning a little different shit for real. And I start shooting music videos. That kind of got me back into it, but I didn't really start content back up. And mind you, that... The channel that I had before, the shit dead now, like, you feel me? The shit is dead as fuck. So, boom. I start, I start shooting music videos. I start doing photography, videography. Then, you feel me? I graduated from Towson. Graduated from Towson. I went to Bowie. I ain't really started up because I didn't, I was still in the transitional phase. Mind you, the NIL started, shit started. So, technically, I could have did it at Bowie. But, like, in my mind, I was still in a mood to where it was like, you feel me? I can't do this shit. Like, they, no matter what school I go to, they're not going to accept, you feel me, the fact that I love doing content creation for real. So, I go to Bowie for a semester. And, like, I meet Coach Wilson, you feel me? And, like, he, like, a total different coach. So, I'm like, damn. This what football could have been for me? You feel me? And this... This is when I kind of get my love for the game back, you feel me? And I start dibbling and dabbling in content creation again, you feel me? I didn't fully jump in until I transferred to Morgan. And the reason why I transferred to Morgan is because Coach Wilson, the guy that I met at Bowie, he was the head coach for Bowie, he went and uh, took the head coach job at Morgan and brought me over there with him. And look, that gave me all the spark that I fucking need. I started posting videos on Instagram. A couple of videos went viral. And literally, like for me, I'm a type of guy, all you got to do is give me a taste of success, and I'm fucking knee deep in that shit, so I had a couple videos on Instagram to go viral, so I said, fuck it, I'm starting a channel, and this was when NIL was popping, so all the the rules and stuff that was against me at first, everything settled now, you feel me, so boom, I get, I get to Morgan, I start recording videos, I start doing reactions and stuff, and it's going good, like it's not, it's not doing too crazy. But it's doing good. And at this time, I didn't have a setup. So, I was doing everything off the laptop. So, I fucking, I start, I start out just playing a game and posting shorts. Like, so, this channel that y'all on right now was a shorts channel. And I'm going to tell y'all exactly how I got to 50K. Like, I'm not hiding shit from y'all. You feel what I'm saying? I'm going to tell y'all exactly how I got to 50K. So, boom. I start uploading shorts, uploading shorts like a motherfucker, just going crazy, going crazy. Then I start uploading TikToks. TikTok and YouTube start going up, you feel me? Everything start going up, start going crazy. You feel me? I fucking, I'm posting, I'm posting, I'm posting, I'm posting every day. Like, literally how I'm doing now, I'm doing that shit back then, but just with the shorts. So the channel really start going crazy. I put a short out. Well, this was my higher short that I ever, like, had ever. You feel what I'm saying? That bitch hit 100K. So, I'm like, damn! Like, 
shit, like my and at that time my highest was like thirty, so I hit a hundred. I'm like, fuck, I could really like that was really when I was like, yeah, I can really do this shit, bro. You feel what I'm saying? So I keep posing, keep posing, keep posing. Next thing you know, that same short, that bitch at uh uh two hundred. I'm like, the fuck? You feel me? And mind you, I'm still playing football at Morgan, so this is throughout the season. When it get close to the end of the season, I look back at that bitch. It's at three million. So I'm like, hold on. Now my five, my my subscribers start gaining, gaining, gaining. And mind you, I don't have no plan. Like you feel me? I just love content creation. So I don't really have a plan for what I'm gonna do. Like to capitalize off the buzz that I get. Like I don't have nothing planned. I don't got no serious. I don't even got. My setup, like I don't have shit. You feel me? So I'm, I'm still like posting, but at the same time, I'm, like confused. Like, what the fuck do I do next? You feel what I'm saying? So, boom. By the end of the season, bro, this short hits 10 million fucking views. And at this time, I'm gaining subscribers out that ass, like 30k, 40k, like that shit. That shit coming by the week. So, boom. I get the. I get the 40, I think it was like 49 and something. And I had this, I don't want to disclose none of the information with the YouTube side because I don't want them to do nothing to this video. I don't I don't want no problems with nothing with YouTube. But I had some complications with the short. Mind you, that was when I got my, I had my channel monetized back then. And there was some complications with the short. Like I said, brother, I waved the, the white flag, YouTube. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Y'all got that shit. You feel me? So it was the complications with the video. Uh, I didn't get paid for the video, and I had to take the video down. So that's why I don't see the video on my channel. But the views still kind of help my channel, and I got a copyright strike for that. I don't want to disclose no information, but I got a copyright strike. And for a certain amount of time, I couldn't post at all. So that kind of fizzled my shit out, and by the time I came back, I didn't like I said, bro. Why the shit was going up, and right after the shit, I didn't know what the fuck I was gonna do. And then after that was after the season, so I was going through the draft shit. You feel me? I was preparing for my pro day, like just a whole bunch of shit going on at once. You feel me? So I take a step back from posting. Mind you, I already got a copyright strike, so I can't even post if I fucking wanted to. You feel me? So. All of that shit happening. I'm at 40 something K. And then after my pro day, you feel me? I start dibbling back into the content, but I'm not like, I'm not heavy because I'm a little upset about how everything went with my, my draft process. And then I get the call from Mexico. You feel what I'm saying? So I get an opportunity to go play out in Mexico. And that's when like, when I got that call, you feel me? I kind of felt better about myself, so I started posting more. When I started posting more, my shit started going up. You feel me? TikTok started going up. And Instagram started going up. And then, you feel me? Fast forward now, I'm like, bro, I really got to make some shit happen, bro. Like, you feel me? And I feel like this going to be that video that I'm going to look back on and really be, like, proud of myself. You feel me? Like I said, I'm I'm being completely transparent with y'all. Like I feel like this is the one where I'm gonna look back on and be like, yo, I'm real proud of myself. I'm pr real proud of like how far I came. You feel me? But I played in Mexico. You feel me? I came back and mind you, I was locked in in Mexico, but I was really like focused more on football. But like when I came back, I'm like, bro, I gotta make some shit happen. Like I really need to lock in. Like I really still want to play football in Mexico, but I really gotta lock in with this YouTube shit. So. I, I gave myself a challenge to never never miss a day until one of my videos blow up. You feel me? So, I really want to keep, just for me, you feel me? And I'm only telling y'all because, like, I'm on day fucking, like, 35 or some shit. You feel me? And, and I know y'all seeing the consistency, but, like, y'all probably think it's just one of them little... Because I always have moments to where I'm consistent and then something happens and it dies off. I don't give a fuck what happens ever. Like, I don't give a fuck what happens today. I don't give a fuck what happens tomorrow. If I'm well, you feel me? I don't give a fuck if I even get sick. I'm going to make a video. I'm posting every single day, bro. You feel me? So, I just want I just want to tell y'all that. You feel me? So, y'all know what to expect. Uh... 
And yeah, just to like, just to give y'all a little bit of insight, you feel me, on what I be thinking, you feel me, what I'm going through, you feel me, I ain't gonna lie, shit has been hard, you feel me, I'm thinking about getting a job, uh, working somewhere, I'm not really gonna say where I'm about to work, but I'm thinking about getting a job because, just, I, I can tell y'all why another day, you feel what I'm saying, but I'm thinking about getting a job, I've been doing Uber, but my car been kind of fucking up, mind you, the car new as fuck, like I bought the... I bought the car last January, the car knew as shit, and it's already having engine problems, so I'm finna stop doing Uber and shit, you feel me, and I'm about to try and get a real job, that way I can, you feel me, have some steady income coming in, and I can still do my YouTube thing, but like I said, bro, I don't, I'm not missing a day, like, it, it gotta be some catastrophic shit to go on for me to miss a fucking day, you feel me, so... For the people that's here, I love y'all, you feel me? The people, the new people that come, I love y'all, you feel me? And you feel me? I pray we glow up all this shit, you feel me? Keep supporting me, keep, you feel me, showing love. I really, like, love, like, even though it's, like, not a lot of y'all, you feel me? Right now, I love all the support that y'all showing, you feel me? And I appreciate everything. Uh, Yeah. But like I said, nigga, the hit 50K so hard! Tight shit, tight shit.